Hey there guys and gals, welcome back to Back Pocket Game Reviews, or in other words, this is going to be Back Pocket Sears Reviews for this video. So, Sears is apparently somehow surviving this near brush with death. I know a lot of you probably remember, I did a video not that long ago called, well, Sears is going out of business. I, I, it actually probably had a different title, I just don't remember what the hell I titled it. Uh, but, Sears is apparently not going out of business. So Sears filed for bankruptcy protection and in the liquidation of the assets because um, they have like a liquidation auction. It's essentially what happens with companies. Um, Eddie Lampert, who is already the largest shareholder of Sears because of his hedge fund essentially being the largest owner of shares for Sears, uh, essentially is now buying the company outright. He made an offer for 5.3 billion is what I believe it was for outright ownership of Sears. And whereas all of the other uh, investors and uh, people at the auction essentially just wanted to sell it off and let it die. Um, Eddie Lampert is buying the rest of Sears and its assets. Uh, he will be shutting down several hundred stores and cutting it down from 60 some thousand employees to about 50 thousand employees so jobs are being saved out of this there is some good that is coming out of this situation however when you look at a lot of sears issues a lot of them stem from eddie lampert uh his hedge fund has essentially spun off a lot of sears different divisions bought them out independently and then charges sears to use those different divisions such as a lot of their real estate is owned by him now uh, which is just very odd to me, because uh, it seems very much so he's just trying to maximize profit to himself from all angles. And not that that is really a downside, but when it's also kind of a big part of why that company is failing, it seems to be a bit shady, at least, at very least. Um, but do I really think Sears can pull through this? No. I think Sears has no chance at becoming relevant again. Sears has lost a big part of their customer base. I mean, a lot of these Sears stores, when you look at a lot of the stores that have already been liquidated, um, it's, it's very obvious there's a lot of stuff that didn't sell. Even people weren't really traveling in there during liquidation. However, you also run into, was this whole bankruptcy thing, did this whole brush with death possibly stir in a bunch of free advertisement? Because that's essentially what it is. A lot of you people that probably haven't thought about Sears in, well, a long-ass time, now, again, have Sears on your brain. Now, Sears has also spun off brands like Craftsman. They sold Craftsman in an attempt to try to, again, keep themselves afloat. Um, I think it was Black & Decker bought Craftsman. I don't remember who it was that bought them, but, again, they got sold to another tool company. So, uh, Kenmore, a lot of people are expecting Kenmore to sell. Well, Kenmore doesn't actually manufacture their own products. A lot of those Kenmore products are made by larger companies and then sold by them. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, some of them are made by Maytag and Whirlpool. And I know their vacuums used to be made by Eureka. Uh, but the reason why we're talking about this and the reason why I find this to be such an interesting topic is, A, I was born in 1987. At one point in time, Sears was a huge company. When you wanted an appliance, you went to Sears. Like when I was growing up and our washer died, you went to Sears to get a new washer. That's not really the case anymore. You don't go to Sears for anything. And actually, I bought my GameCube at Sears. They even used to sell video games. They used to sell a lot of stuff. Um, and they slimmed that down, tried to refocus. I, I honestly cannot remember the last time I bought something at a Sears store, uh, nor is Sears ever the first place that jumps into my mind. Another reason why this is so interesting for me is, well, I, I used to work at Sears. I actually sold vacuums, sewing machines, and microwaves on commission. So it was actually my first sales job. This is the first job I ever had that was sales-based. Um, and I, I will say this, it also is a big part of the reason why I hate commission-based sales. Um, not only does it kind of force you into, if you want to hit your sales goals to keep your job, you're going to have to get creative with your sales. Like uh, old a, a nice, nice housewife comes in looking at Dyson vacuums for that day. It's easy to sell a Dyson vacuum. They're like the Swiss Army knife of the vacuum cleaners. But uh, then you always get the response of, well, I got to talk to my husband about this. 
Well, ma'am, do you have to talk to your husband about all financial decisions before you make them? I know, I know, it seems terrible that I would use that argument, but it works. Uh, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but I, I would never recommend working for that company, especially in its current state, whereas obviously they're very hurting for money. Sears isn't a company that you're going to have job security at. It's not a company that may be around in another 10 years. Uh, I'm actually quite shocked that they're still going to be around in 2019. Uh, how does, how did they survive? And I mean, Eddie Lampert really screwed them. I, I'm just really shocked. It still needs to be approved by a judge. So the, the bankruptcy judge is still going to have to approve this. But apparently the judge said when this all came forward that this was a good sign and it's a good bid to step into the right direction. So, I, I can see where the judge is coming from, because you are saving a lot of jobs, but, oh, oh. So, essentially, Eddie Lampert is going to pay this money to get rid of some of the debt and restructure the debt, and to be able to own the rest of the shares. He will essentially be the sole, well, his investment fund, I believe it's called ESL, if I'm not mistaken, well, now, essentially, own Sears outright. Free to do whatever he wants with it. Hmm. Very interesting. This isn't the only buyout we're going to be talking about. Obviously, I've missed some other buyouts, and I've taken, like, a nice little week hiatus from uploading. It's been about a week. Jesus. I've never taken this much time off before, so I'm sorry for those of you who missed me. Uh, I will probably also be streaming on Twitch tonight. I've I've gotten my Twitch a little reworked. I can do I can do some some pretty cool stuff now with Twitch. So if you want to stop by and see me on Twitch, I'll be streaming probably around 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight on Twitch. Uh, if you want to find my Twitch links, all my links are in the description box down below. Also, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like. You can also share it. That helps me tremendously when you share my content. And uh, don't forget to click subscribe if you're new to the channel. Not all videos are filmed in my car, by the way. Just days where I don't have time to record because I've been oversleeping and all that other stuff, which we'll visit in another, another video. We'll visit all my current issues that I'm having. Guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate everything you guys do, and I will see you all soon with plenty more content coming for you.